Hello, I'm Dr. Manny, and I'm here to answer your questions. Scientists and doctors make medical advances in cancer treatment every day. But we still don't know exactly why one person develops the disease and the other doesn't. We got this question from a viewer. Dear Dr. Manny, I'm currently house hunting with my pregnant wife and came across a beautiful house that is almost perfect, except for the huge power lines directly behind it. I've heard some studies show an association between exposure to power lines and cancer. How worried should I be if I want to pursue this house? Thanks, Dan. Well, Dan, power lines produce low to mid-frequency magnetic fields, or EMFs. According to the National Cancer Institute, these EMFs are in the non-ionizing radiation part of the electromagnetic spectrum and are not known to damage DNA or cells directly. But some scientists speculate that they could cause cancer in other ways. In 2002, the International Agency for Research on Cancer classified extremely low frequency magnetic fields as possibly carcinogenics to humans. The classification was based on studies that showed a two-fold increase in childhood leukemia among children with exposure to high levels of magnetic fields in the home. But for more on that, we checked in with a cancer epidemiologist at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York. After these early studies, there has been many other studies done with better methodology and in general these newer and better studies did not confirm the association between having a very high exposure. The high exposure was mainly coming from the wiring configuration within the home, not really from outside the home. Several international and national agencies have, including the World Health Organization, have reviewed the entire body of evidence and concluded that under most circumstances there is really no risk from exposure to electromagnetic fields. More research is needed to confirm whether the early studies maybe gave some signal in very exceptional circumstances. Thanks, Doc. Do you have a health question? Tweet me at Dr. Manny on Fox. Until next time, I'm Dr. Manny.